Gparted has just released a new live CD for managing your drive partitions and we're going to take a look at that today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. We are looking at the newly released Gparted Live CD. Now the nice thing I like about this is, this is something handy that you can just throw on a disk and it does a wonderful job of managing your file systems. You can shrink and resize NTFS or just about any file system. Now some people will argue that Windows doesn't really like it when you resize NTFS partitions with a Linux distribution. But I can tell you from my own personal experience, I've never run into any issues. Windows does, however, want to run a disk check after you have resized the partition, which is okay. But I cannot stress enough, if you are resizing your partitions, always make sure that you back up your data onto an external hard drive just for safety reasons because there is some risk involved there all right so let's go ahead and uh, start this up and have a look at it just take a moment for this to go through everything and my experience with gparted is it does run reasonably fast for booting up however in this case we're running this in a virtual machine now I, you're going to see up at the top here, it says PinGuy OS 64. You'll remember in my tutorial series, um, we set up the operating system and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Gparty to wipe this out because I have a little surprise for you in my next episode. So I want to make sure that we've got the drive all cleaned out and everything before we go ahead and start installing um, a new operating system that's going to go on this. Okay, alright, and then the key map records records the layout of symbols on the keyboard. And uh, we'll go ahead and select key map from the list. Okay, and we are using a QWERTY keyboard. And we are in English. Uh, I'm, they must have it as U.S. English, U.S. American. There we go. Figured they would have that. Okay, and we'll just say standard. And standard. Okay, we're good. All right. Which language do you prefer? Yep, that's the one, 33, U.S. English. Okay. All right, and we'll select zero. All right. And it'll go ahead and start the X server for us. I'm interested in, to know which user interface it's going to have. Ah, it looks like it's open box. No, it's flux box. My bad. Okay, let's go ahead and run G parted. Ah, it already launched for us. <laughs> cool beans. Okay, now you can see the drive layout that I have here. I have an EXT4, and then I have an area for swap. We're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this partition. Okay, and then we're going to create a new partition here, and we want this to be EXT4. And then add. Okay, then we will go ahead and apply this. And it'll take a moment for those operations to complete. And then we will have a fresh drive for installing another Linux distribution. Now you will remember in previous tutorials uh, that I've had up, I showed you how to resize and um, you know allocate space for different operating systems. I didn't feel it was necessary in this episode because you can go back through 
um, some of my uh, previous episodes and you can see how that's done. But I wanted to show you that um, there is a G-Parted live CD that you can use. It's straightforward and fairly easy to use. Uh, if you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, please be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Visit my blog and shout me a coffee. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.